Chinese Finance Minister Liu Kun met President Vikram Singh today. President Vikram Singh is currently in China to participate in the Third Belt and Road Initiative Forum. During the meeting with President Ranil Vikram Singh, Minister Liu Kun emphasized that China has a profound understanding of the economic challenges confronting Sri Lanka and commended the progress and measures Sri Lanka has taken thus far to address the ongoing economic crisis. Furthermore, he expressed China's unwavering commitment to providing robust support for the enhancement of the necessary infrastructure crucial for Sri Lanka's development. The Chinese finance minister also highlighted the in-depth discussions that transpired regarding financial interactions between Sri Lanka and China, underscoring the collaboration with international organizations closely associated with China aimed at furnishing additional support to Sri Lanka. Meanwhile, President Ranil Vikramasinghe expressed his appreciation for China's consistent support as Sri Lanka endeavors to overcome economic challenges. Discussions were also held regarding the program designed to spur economic recovery and foster the creation of a competitive, digitally advanced and environmentally friendly economy in Sri Lanka. President Ranil Vikramasinghe also conducted deliberations today with distinguished representatives from several major Chinese corporations, including China Communications Construction Corporation, Sinopec and the BYD Company Limited. These discussions placed considerable emphasis on the exploration of prospective investment opportunities and avenues within Sri Lanka. Discussions also focused on the development of the port city as an international financial center, the formulation of new financial regulations specific to the port city, and the establishment of judicial and arbitration mechanisms exclusively applicable to the port city. Furthermore, the dialogue covered topics pertaining to various sectors, including the electrification of Sri Lanka's transportation systems, electric vehicle assembly, and electric train services. The corporate representatives of China's top companies expressed their unwavering commitment to extending optimal support for the advancement of Sri Lanka's economy and to seize the investment prospects the country offers.